hi guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl sekina sekina Sura. and if this is your first time stopping by if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face you're most definitely welcome so guys i'm so sorry that i've been m.i.a i'm so sorry that i haven't been on air for a very long time my skin has been a mess like i haven't actually had the time to actually take care of my skin so my skin has really really gone terribly left anyways like as you guys can see i have like dark spots on my forehead i have it all over this place as well i have a little bit of blackheads as well and i know we have to address the elephant in the room this um pimple has been on my face for the past about two three weeks now like it will go it will come back it will go it will come back and i've done every terrible thing possible to this pimple i have popped it i have scraped it i have shaped it. like i've done every terrible thing possible to the um, pimples but it has refused to go and now it is like very red very huge and painful and it is itchy oh my god it is itchy I'm trying to get my skin back on track so i'm trying to go through in um, a skincare journey again to get my skin to its healthy condition that I used to be so um, that is why I'm embarking on this skincare journey and I thought why don't I bring you guys along with me okay why don't I bring you guys along with me and I thought okay, how can I do that every Sunday I'm going to be doing a self-care skin skincare that I'm going to be like masking I'm shaving primping you know all this kind of you know adjust out all this pervasive that you do on your skin so I'm going to be doing them every every Sunday so I decided okay why don't I make that a series on my YouTube channel and we call it self-care Sunday so you guys every Sunday make sure to tune into my youtube channel because i'm going to be coming here with a new self-care routine a new self-care tips and trick without further ado let's jump right into today's video so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be cleansing my face with um, my black soap this black soap is a new one this is a batch that i made last week so it is for acne it is not really for lightening or any of that but it will definitely fade out your dark spots and um hyperpigmentation so it is for hyperpigmentation acne and dark spots so i'm going to be using so definitely you guys are going to be seeing a lot of this on this my um self-care sundays so i'm just wetting my face right now okay so in this um series we are going to be getting a lot of um, the product that i made myself and some of the product that i buy so lights can be like universal not like everything i'm using is what i made I'm just gonna be washing my face with the black soap. Like I taught you guys before, you use black soap, make sure to wet your skin and apply in circular motion and also apply in small quantities, like so. I love like amazing, amazing ingredients for acne, hyperpigmentation, dark spots in this right now. So I'm just gonna do this um, and I'm going to like just massage it through my face for about one minute and then we're gonna go wash it off so i'm gonna hide and green up the black soap for my face and you see my face is looking brighter it is looking better basically really better well anyways if you're not in a hurry you can just go ahead and leave your face to air dry naturally don't use any towel don't use anything but because i've been a hurry i actually have a makeup appointment if you don't know i'm also a makeup artist um you can check out my page check out my instagram i'm going to be leaving it in the description below on the screen somewhere here so because i'm in a hurry i'm just gonna go ahead and use a um, paper towel like so to just dump my face dry okay I'm supposed to like go ahead after cleansing I'm supposed to go into scrubbing I sometimes I scrub before cleansing sometimes I scrub after cleansing well because um, today I'm not scrubbing because I'm using this the ordinary AHA and BHA peeling solution you guys can see it so this is what I'm going to be using right now and this is like an exfoliant in its own so that's why I'm not going to be scrubbing because that's just be too excess on the skin so I'm just gonna be applying this like a mask so okay, I was to apply this on your face and leave it for 10 minutes do not exceed 10 minutes you don't want to apply it on wet skin your skin has to be dry so as you can see I've used the paper towel to dry up my skin so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this looks like blood <laughs> try and avoid under your eye this stuff is according to the internet this stuff is powerful you can use a brush if you want but 
I don't like all that paparazzi jaggy. Something that I can use my hand for that it will be faster and efficient. Why would I want to like just pimp it up with brush? And the brush will just like absorb the old product and you don't be wasting product anyways. So as long as your hand is neat, your hand is clean. Obviously I just wash my face so my hand is clean. Just make sure your hand is clean and use your hand. It's better, more efficient. You can set spray it on your neck as well, but there's nothing wrong with my neck. Yeah. That's that. So I'm going to leave it on. Give you a little bit of review about this stuff. Um, yeah, it is a peeling solution, but that doesn't mean it peels your skin. It doesn't peel your skin. And I just applied it. It is not tingly. It is not purplish. It is nothing like it's as if you didn't even apply it, in, apply it to your face like a mask. So as you guys can see with the change of clothes, I've actually gone ahead and taken my paint. My skin is so dry right now. Uh, my skin really dried fast when I was, you know, moisturizing my skin. So um, in case you want to know what I used to moisturize my skin, is the CT Plus. Um, and this is the one with the carrot oil. So if you haven't seen my review on this um, particular cream, check my channel i have a review and i have like a difference about it because there's two type of this um clay therapy there's the one with the white cover which does not have carrot oil and there's this one that have carrot oil so i actually emphasized on the difference and i also emphasize on the idoquinone content or the idoquinone content in this cream so make sure to check that out so anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tone my skin. And what I'm going to be using for this is this um, nice traditional glycerin and rose water. Can you guys see that? So you can use any rose water of your choice or any glycerin of your choice. But it's always nice to use glycerin and rose water combined. Um, so yeah. So this is the glycerin and rose water. I'm just going to put it on this cutting. Oh my god. I Oh so um i put it on this cutting pad and then i'm gonna go ahead and just i kind of like put a little bit too much as you guys can see like i didn't open it well so the whole thing poured all over the floor and all over my body oh it is what it is anyways i'm just gonna use it to you know clean my whole face and my neck you can see how good the pimple is like this now really really clear so the reason why you want to use um a toner is can you guys see that can you guys see the dead like i guess like the um remains or the remnant yeah the remnant of the um peeling solution that i used can you guys see that it is red like the toner remove any excess dead or like mask or Whatever is not supposed to be on your face, yeah, the toner is going to remove it. So that's what I'm going to do now. You guys can see how glowy my skin is looking right now. Like my skin is glowing, and this really removed all the excess um, dirt and all the excess um, AHA that was on my skin. Can you guys see how dirty that is? This is the importance of using a cleanser after washing your face or after cleaning your face because so kind of audio day this is what will actually go into the pores and remove all those extra extra yuckiness dry into my skin and then we are going to be using this the ordinary niacinamide this is um 10 percent niacinamide one percent zinc so this is what we are going to be using right now i'm just going to use it as a serum so i'm going to go ahead and apply the niacinamide okay so niacinamide is amazing for hyperpigmentation and that's what if you don't have you can go ahead and use um oh my god you can go ahead and use vitamin c vitamin c is also like legit amazing i usually use vitamin c normally but because i want to try out the niacinamide product i mean the ordinary product i decided to buy the niacinamide i think they also have vitamin c but i couldn't get that so i got niacinamide so it's either you use vitamin c or you use niacinamide can you guys see how glowing my skin is looking right now amazing so the next thing i'm going to be doing is face cream so um i've done my serum and all that if you, you can use multiple serum you can use two three serums i'm only using one serum because i'm trying to keep my skincare routine clean simple so i know what works for me so for face cream i'm using the goji berry um facial cream and this contains hyaluronic acid retinol and organic botanicals so this is the face cream i've actually been in for a while i'm not gonna apply this all over my face
Look, I guess my skin is looking better, it's looking fresher. It's looking more refreshed and it's glowing. So after the face cream, the next thing, you can go ahead and use facial oil or whatever. For me, the next thing I do is sunscreen. So for sunscreen, this is the sunscreen that I'm presently using. It is the Gavia Sunblock and it is also a sunblock and whitening cream combined in one. It is excellent. Like it has an SPF of 60 and it has been amazing on my skin. So, so we are using the normal, you know, two fingers um, stuff. So this will go on my neck and my face. Okay, so yeah. I like this sunscreen because it actually absorbs well into the skin. Like it doesn't take time to absorb. It doesn't really leave a white cast like that. I also put it on my hands, of course. So that's basically self-care Sunday. I'm gonna go out and you know dress up and get ready to leave the house. So guys, you guys can see what my skin is looking at right now. I've gone ahead and dress up. I'm going out. I'm going for work. I'm I'm going to work. As you can see, I've also applied the gloss because my lips is really really chapped. Um, yeah, you can see my skin is looking better apart from this red. Um, pimples this stuff that is so red right here, but I don't really care. I'm flaunting it with pride That's another thing that you guys should know whatever is happening in your skin right now is temporary believe me So just enjoy why it is terrible because when it is good, you are going to appreciate it more So even with the red pimples guys, I'm still looking dope. I'm still looking cute 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 And guys, let me know if you guys enjoy this um, self-care this self-care sunday series let me know if you guys dig it Just let me know in the comment section do you love it because i'm going to be showing you guys a lot of products a lot of reviews a lot of tips a lot of tricks in this series and it's going to be consistent it's going to be every sunday so always stay tuned always tune into my youtube channel i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do make sure to give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet be sure to subscribe button down below and be sure to hit the bell button so you get notified every single time i upload a new video um till next time bye